Well, QT, it's our main event of our Women of Honor event here in Lakeland. Undefeated for 525 days, the gatekeeper Kelly Klein will be put to the test here tonight. But for our formal ring introductions, we will take it to Bobby Cruz. This is a Women of Honor main event match, set for one fall. Introducing first, wrestling out of Cincinnati, Ohio, Kelly Klein. Kelly Klein, the gatekeeper, yet to be defeated. Five, two, five, there it is. 525 days, QT. A rapidly approaching two years. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem like that long ago it was Glory by Honor in Dayton where she made her debut and tapped out Ray Lynn in a matter of seconds. Absolutely. The last time I was here, she basically, I don't even know if Scarlett Bordeaux is still around. I mean, really, the things I've seen her do to her. Yeah, she's been incredible, defeating stars like Taylor Hendricks, ODB. You mentioned Scarlett Bordeaux, but she has never faced a woman quite like who we are about to see right now. A woman defeated Candice LeRae, a woman coming off of three months in stardom in Japan, coming back with a whole new arsenal of things. We'll take it to Bobby Cruz. Her opponent wrestling in a fast town, New Jersey, Deanna Purrazzo. Yeah, look at that. Deanna Purrazzo, Hackettstown, New Jersey, Jersey strong. Coming off an incredibly successful tour with Stardom. Showed that she can hang with the best women's wrestlers in the world. Almost came home with some championship gold. Absolutely, and then, you know what? I'm torn here because I, Kelly Klein is so dominant, and I I want that streak to go on forever, but you know, God's gift is originally from New Jersey, and so is Deanna, and really don't know. I don't know who to, I don't know who to root for here, Ian. Deanna Perrazzo, one of the hardest w working women in independent wrestling we know. In 2015, she helped restart, relaunch Women of Honor. She was in the initial contest in Baltimore in July 2015 against Mandy Leon. She's since been on a path, she's created her own path that no other star has taken. Meanwhile, Kelly Klein feels like she's been on cruise control just with her dominance night after night here at Women of Honor. I mean, she doesn't need to shake her hand, Ian. There's no reason for it. She's going to put her out, tap her out, choke her out. She's won every match, every single match she's competed in with the devastating guillotine choke known as the end of the match, and there's that strength. Kelly's going to have the strength advantage. The experience advantage also going to Kelly. I think she has the size advantage she certainly no, but Deanna can go she can and we know that both are submission style wrestlers we know we mentioned Kelly's end of the match guillotine choke that she gets that locked on no one has gotten out but we also know that Deanna Perrazzo has tapped out women like Sumi Sakai Candice LeRae with that devastating Fujiwara armbar yes, so she's already going to the arm look at that Kelly very smartly using that strength again to her advantage. Oh, look at that. Just laser focus. Look at the focus on the eyes, QT. Just zeroing in on that wrist, on that elbow, on that shoulder. Doesn't miss a beat there. Whoa, wait a minute. Could this be it? Looking for the Fujiwara armbar. Center of the ring. Wow, look at Kelly. Yeah, student of the game. We know she has an MMA background. We know she trains in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We know, ooh, we know that hurts. Wow. One, two. Nothing like a nice knee to the spine. Hey, come on. I think the name of the game here for Deanna, she might want to go for the rope-a-dope. That's been the closest anybody has been at defeating Kelly. Maybe make Kelly use more of her energy than Deanna. But Kelly's such a finely tuned athlete, QT, that I don't even know if that would work. And I don't know. I mean, you know, Kelly's obviously going to use her strength, but Deanna, I mean, she has heart. And like I said, we saw it with Scarlett. You know, heart can take you a long way. It didn't take her over the finish line, though, and that's that's a place no one's been, QT, and that, that's a little scary. So we see just Kelly dominating right now. The thing I like about Deanna is you can always tell the wheels are turning. Always thinking about a counter, always trying to figure out where she is in the ring. I think now she's just thinking that she needs to survive again. That's a good point. Going for the 
cover one, two. And look at this, nonchalant. She's got her exactly where she wants her, And You know what? All the hype has been about Deanna. Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. Stardom, all this stuff. And the hype should be on Kelly Klein. 525 days, Ian. So, you know what? If she's got her on the ground, I would take my time. I would enjoy the moment. We take a look here at the Lakeland Center, anticipating the biggest crowd in Ring of Honor history, filing in. What a night it's been. We've had Q&As with the stars of Ring of Honor. Ooh! We've also had autograph signings. Look at this one. Never quite seen that before. The nice front face lock into a bridge looking for the pin. Kelly not afraid to innovate, neither is Deanna. You know, QT, I know you've seen the stardom matches that Deanna competed in. So many ways to lock in that Fujiwara. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know what? That's the best part about Deanna. Like I said, I mean, it's so hard to study and try to figure out how to get out of that move. Once she, once she locks it in, it's over. And you have to be so... Uh-oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did you see that? Yeah, right just... I mean, like I said, it's all fun and games, so you get punched right in the mouth, and that's what it ha just happened there. Ooh, knees to the face. And Deanna's in trouble, QT. Let's not yeah. dance around this. Yeah, absolutely. I think now if I were Kelly, I would just put her away. Picks her up. Look at the strength. Deanna desperate, desperately trying to get out of the fallaway slam. Could not do it. Stalking her, just like a vulture. But Deanna's not one to just, uh, I, I, don't want to, I wouldn't take her too lightly, Ian. I mean, yeah, we this know could her be a record. mistake. Yeah, we, we know what Deanna's done, where she's been. Oh, right on the hand. That's why you never put your hand down, Ian. That's the first thing they teach you in wrestling training. Kelly just taunting her. Ooh, not afraid to use her head as a weapon. Oh, in the clutch here with the strikes, the knees. Ooh. Deanna's in full survival mode right now. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. Is this a rear naked choke? That forearm cutting off the oxygen, cutting off the blood flow, the carotid artery. Deanna's got till five. I would hope. I'm, I'm telling you, Ian, the strength is just too much. Yeah, and I think you're right, QT. Deanna's got to start maybe bending the rules until there it the is. Look at that. her direction. Yeah, break her jaw. Kick her low. There you go. Fire in the eyes of Deanna. Big knee. Connects. Off the rope she goes. Close line sends Kelly to the ground. Yeah, don't pander to the crowd. Good on her. One, two. Two. And you can read it in Deanna's eyes, thinking about where to go next. Don't take too much time. You can't give too much time to Kelly right now. Oh, look at that. Just dropping the center of gravity, dropping that too knee to the strong. ground. Yeah, that suplex isn't going anywhere, Deanna. Kelly now, Irish whip. Off the ropes comes Deanna. Both. Both go in. Whoa. Whoa! Front face DDT. Cover one, two. Referee Paul Turner, perfect position, just two and seven eights. Cover one, two. Two. Oh, Kelly's. Kelly undefeated. One, two, 525 days. Looking to extend that quite a bit if she defeats Deanna here. But her biggest obstacle yet, as Deanna fighting back, back to her feet, trading forearms now in the center of the ring. Armbar versus guillotine. Whoever can stagger their opponent, whoever can incapacitate their opponent first, whoever can lock in the submission, will probably win this match, QT. Look at this, going toe to toe like two bulls, locking horns in the center of the ring. Deanna standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kelly Klein. Yeah, those strikes from Damian Adams, Rip Rogers. She knows how to fight dirty. QT, she's a Jersey girl. Wow! Certainly earning the respect of the fans here in Lakeland. Earning the respect, Ian, but she needs to earn the victory. She needs to be the first person to defeat Kelly Klein. That will put her on the map. She's, oh, wait. Two. Oh, give me a break. Well, that could be a mistake. That I think could it, be a mistake. That is a, absolutely QT. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go beyond might. That is a mistake. She wants to tap her out, though, I think, QT. I think she's won every match she's been in, QT. We mentioned earlier tonight, with the end of the match, that guillotine choke. Wait a minute. Reverses the following slam. Could she have the Fujiwara locked in? Center of the ring. 
Kelly fighting for her life. Going for the ropes now. Oh, wait oh. a minute. Paul Turner. He's center of the ring. The Fujiwara's locked in. She's tapping. Oh God, she's, she's, tapping. tapping. she's tapping. She's tapping. Oh she's tapping. She's tapped out Kelly Klein. Deanna Peraza should be your winner right now. What? Paul Turner has been apparently poked in the eye. Deanna Peraza just defeated Kelly Klein in the center of the ring. Deanna Perrazzo has tapped out Kelly Klein. Yeah, but Ian, Paul Turner was not there to see it. Northern Lights, one, two, no! Give me a break! The winner of the match, Kelly Klein! Something must have flew into Paul's eye, I don't know, Ian. 525 days, the streak continues for Kelly Klein. But we saw QT, we saw Deanna Perrazzo tap out Kelly Klein in the center of the ring. We know it, the fans know it. The fans know it, but unfortunately, Ian, you can only call what you see, and Paul Turner did not see it. And Kelly Klein, you know what? She's still undefeated, and that's what's most important. That's what matters. 525 days, tomorrow, 526, and so on, and so on, and so on. Well, if I'm Deanna Perrazzo, I'm calling the board of directors tonight and demanding a rematch here in Lakeland. QT Marshall, Ian Riccoboni. What a match we just saw for Women of Honor Wednesday. We'll see you next week.